Hanje Kiowao, Emily Haynes de Shinikashun, Winnipeg P. St. Albert Duschen. Hi, I'm Emily Haynes. I'm originally from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and I've lived a really long time in St. Albert, Alberta, and I consider both of those places my home. I currently live in Amiskwichi, Wiskaigan, which is also known as Edmonton, Alberta. It's on Treaty 6 territory, uh, Papa's Chase territory, and the Métis Nation homeland. I'm Métis. My self and my family are from in and around Winnipeg, Manitoba, and we've lived for a very long time in what is now Southern Manitoba, Montana, and North Dakota. I'm currently a master's student at the IPIA, and I'm really happy to be here because the work done through the IPIA, I find really meaningful and impactful, and it allows me to do the kind of research that I really want to do. As an undergraduate, learning about archaeology was an interesting experience because while I really like archaeology at its core, there's elements about how it's practiced that I really don't agree with. Things like Indigenous communities not being involved in research processes, having to be really detached from your research, artifacts and other Indigenous belongings being taken to government repositories and then being very inaccessible to the people whose belongings those are. And research questions being set by academic needs rather than Indigenous needs were all things that I really disagreed with. And so when I found the IPIA at the end of my undergraduate career, it was really eye-opening because at the IPIA, archaeology is done completely differently. Communities are always involved in the research process in a really central way, so they're partners rather than almost being uninvolved completely. Also, we're allowed to be personally involved in our research and not just allowed but encouraged. That means that my own identity and history as a Métis person is really central to the research that I do. And this is really special because I get to learn and cultivate and grow as a Métis person, which has helped me and my family be more proud in the, in the Métis shoes that we're in. As well, I learned a lot of really great Indigenous research methods at the IPIA that really click for me. They feel right and they feel like I don't have to sacrifice my morals and my own worldview. As well, the community at the IPIA is something that's really unique. All of us form a really supportive community and it's a great place for encouraging academic and personal growth, which a lot of academic spaces don't really foster. So it's really, really special. My work as a master's student focuses on urban Métis archaeological materials in the cities of St. Albert and Edmonton. So I'll be doing some work to help predict where Métis archaeological sites might still be and where they might have already been destroyed by urban development. This can tell us a lot about the urban history of these Métis urban centers in the prairies and can change a lot of narratives about Métis belonging in these spaces. It's all part of the EMIDA project, which stands for Exploring Métis Identity Through Archaeology, which is one of the initiatives through the IPIA that we have going right now. In conclusion, being an IPIA scholar has meant the world to me. It has given me the knowledge to practice archaeology in ways that I find to be really meaningful and respectful. It's provided me with a supportive community to foster my personal and intellectual growth and for cooperation. And it's provided me with the confidence to proudly be Métis in an academic environment without sacrificing my own personal values.